How come no one has thought of this yet? This video today is sponsored by my Amazon store. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Anything you buy from the links in the description below can earn commissions for me to help support the channel and move it forward. So I appreciate you guys using the links we talk about today and everything else that is linked below in the description. I just happened to find a tool bag, a tool roll, a roll up tool roll that is designed for antennas. This is made by Gable Antennas or Gable Radio. You might recognize some of their products from Amazon. They're out of Taiwan. And I was poking around on Amazon because I have, I did the video a while back about Tar Heel little HP Pro motorized antenna. And I was actually right there. I was sitting right there and set up right there at Galveston Island State Park when all that, during that video. And I had mentioned the fact that this chameleon bag, now this bag here, this is a CHA sling bag. And I have a video about this bag on my Pac-Man channel. I'll link it up here somewhere. So you guys go check that out if you want to. So I was poking around and this bag's 80 bucks. Now it is well worth 80 bucks. I love all of the pockets in it. I love all of the features in it. And I have yet to find anything that rivals it as far as what it does. So for a complete walk through that bag, check out the Pac-Man video. But as I was searching around for something similar to that, something that's maybe not as expensive, I found this guy. This is a Hemo Top. This is actually made for fishing rods, if I remember correctly. So we open this up here. Opens from one side. Okay, there it is. It's got two zippers on it, but it opens only opens from one side. Opens completely on this end right here. It opens up like that. It does not open completely on that end. So that's the bottom right there. You put your fishing rods or your antenna masts or something, you can tie them down with this. This is not very, I don't know what the word is. It's, it's kind of, it's not the best design in the world. It's fine. It's got an extra pocket inside right here. It does have some nice padding in the walls. So if you want to put some push-up masts, spider beam mast, whatever in there, telescoping 17 foot whips from multiple manufacturers, they would all fit in there and you could transport them around fairly easily and they would be padded and secured. That's not bad. They do make this in a larger size also, so you might be able to find something that's bigger. But this guy right here, this is what impressed me. They call this a antenna roll-up pouch. Now, you can find tool rolls, tool belts, tool pouches, stuff that rolls up like that, made for wrenches, sockets, screwdrivers, all kinds of stuff. This one is actually made for antennas. Now, you can say, well, Jason, okay, that's great, but you know, you can get something that's not made for antennas and use it for, for antennas all you want to. That's true, but I don't know, this one really impressed me. The fact that it said it was made for antennas is what got me to buy it, but after I got it, check this out, okay? I have not seen a tool roll that'll do this yet. I picked up a very good made in the USA quality tool roll at the Moore Expo last year, and I was gonna do something similar to this with it, but all of the pouches inside of this, this roll here are removable. You can take them all out, you can move them around. You can put this here, that there. This one in the middle is perfect for maybe HT antennas, maybe some soldering irons, stuff like that. All kinds of, you know, vertical pieces that you might have. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. It's got uh, some loops on the outside here. You can put a small mast in there. It's not large enough this way to carry like the big POTA mast. So this is a POTA 30 mast, 30, POTA 33 mast from Gigaparts. It's not, you can see right there, it's clearly not a big enough tool roll to hold that. But if you got like, the POTA 20 mast, it might fit in here. It might stick out the top a little bit. You could put it behind. You could put the POTA 20 mast in here. And even though it might stick out the top a little bit, it still would be safe in there. It's got two small pouches over here on the side. You can put all your connectors, adapters, uh, power poles, something like that. You can put a pair of crimpers in here for power poles. You can put uh, wire strippers, some extra wire, all kinds of stuff. And then it rolls up like this. When you're done with it, of course, I changed this around. So, well, the reason this one's kind of bulky right now because it's got an extra strap in it. So, take the strap out of there. Put strap in there. Just kind of showing the versatility of it like that. Then you just roll it up like that. And you can roll it together and put this strap around it and cinch it down. 
like that. These are adjustable straps right here. So the, if your tool pouch gets bigger with more equipment in it, you can adjust that and have it a little bit larger like that. It's got a carrying handle on it. It's got that strap that I just showed you. That's perfect for a shoulder carry like that. But this is just a freaking cool piece of kit. I just really, it's got an extra pouch on the outside right there with a clear window. You can put some, put some stickers in there to advertise your YouTube channel that you can hand out to people when they come up to you at the park and say, hey, what are you doing? I'm doing ham radio here. Go to YouTube and find me out there. <laughs> so I just really thought this was a cool deal. Again, I have seen tool pouches and I bought a couple of tool pouches off of, uh, well, at More Expo, the Made in the USA one. I wish I could remember the name of it, but it's, I'm in Galveston right now and it's at home. So I can't remember the name of it, but maybe I'll do a follow-up video later on that. But I thought this was a great idea for some sort of antenna go kit. I think that was a bird. Do you guys hear that? Some bird that might be inside my truck now, but he might be on top of it. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, I really was impressed by the build quality of this from Gable, and uh, I will put a link to it in the description below. Tell me if you use anything like this. If you have some sort of tool roll, tool pouch, tool bag, something like that that you use for antennas specifically. This is the only one on Amazon specifically for antennas, and um, I was really impressed by it, so I decided to make this quick video. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching today.